Hey guys, hope you're well. This is a little bit of a change to my usual content. If you're not interested in ancestry results, then come back tomorrow. Usual content will resume then. So in this video, we're going to look at my heritage ancestry results. My heritage is actually the fourth company that I've used to test my ancestry. Previously, I've had ancestry tests at 23andMe, Ancestry DNA, Living DNA. So my heritage is another company that does these DNA ancestry tests. I have a whole playlist on my genetics which contains 18 videos some of which are related to ancestry results so dig into those if you want detailed summaries of my 23andMe results and then comparisons between living DNA and 23andMe ancestry DNA results comparisons with 23andMe and living DNA a detailed comparison looking at 23andMe, Living DNA and Ancestry.com results updated because every so often uh, the companies update their genetic databases and they reevaluate your results. So you come back with slightly different results uh, than was original and it's just an artifact of what's in their databases. The more detailed their databases get, the more accurate I think they can be with their results. So every time they update, I would argue you get something that's slightly more accurate because they're just comparing your genetic database with their entire database. I've also got a comparison between the 23andMe results of mine with that of my daughter and then the rest of the videos in that playlist are related to genetics and health. I assume you clicked on this video because you want me to show you my my heritage results, which I will do very shortly. This is my result from 23andMe. Tells me that I'm just over 95% European and that's spread between Southern Europe and Northwestern Europe. Um, with the majority being British and Irish. So it got this right. My biological mother is British. All of her DNA comes from Northwest Europe. My mum has actually done a test with 23andMe, but I don't have her results available. She's got her results. She's all Northwestern European. My biological father, on the other hand, came from Sicily which is a small island just off the coast of Italy in the Mediterranean Sea. It's picked up that I'm 40% Italian and then a little bit that's more broad, broadly kind of Southern European. It highlighted in on Sicily, which is good. It also gave me 4.3% coming from West Asia and North African. And because Sicily is an island in the Mediterranean Sea, it's been invaded loads of times. It's got lots of links with North Africa and the Middle East. So that makes sense, makes entire sense. Looking at Ancestry from uh, Ancestry DNA, um, this was kind of a cleaner result in terms of more succinct but it didn't pick up any North Africa like uh, 23andMe did so it specifically homed in on England and it said that I've got 50% of my DNA just from England and it was able to home in on the northwest of England and Yorkshire which is absolutely correct my mother's side the British side comes from or the majority at least comes from the northwest of England which is here and my my two times great grandfather came from Yorkshire and then I've got a two times great grandmother who came from Lincolnshire which is near Yorkshire so that was interesting how it was able to home in on those areas which is absolutely correct it was also able to home in on Sicily from my biological father's side it threw up three percent from 
Scotland or Ireland. I do believe I do have a Scottish ancestor, my three times great grandmother, although she was born in Bolton in the northwest of England. I do believe, based on her maiden name, I do believe that she came originally, her ancestry came from Scotland. And then 2% from the Greek and the Balkans. Again, that relates to kind of the Sicilian. But it's interesting that 23andMe was more diverse. Ancestry was more kind of concise and succinct. I guess if you were someone who didn't know the biological kind of parentage of one or even both sides of your ancestry, then comparing ancestry.com with 23andMe you might be able to kind of piece together slightly different stories I don't know that's kind of a question mark as I know my parentage then both of these results kind of make sense to me living DNA on the other hand originally when this result came back it didn't find my Sicilian ancestry at all it, re- it just didn't find it, but they updated their database and it did. It found Sicily. It gave me a little kind of bit more broader to the rest of Italy. Um, it also found some Middle Eastern ancestry specifically, and this was quite a lot actually, 13.1% from South Caucasus, which is like this West Asian area here, and then the rest from my mother's side, namely Great Britain, and again it was able to home in on the Northwest, and it gave me some others. I believe I do have a Welsh ancestor going back several generations, just again looking at the name of that ancestor, Llewellyn Williams. I don't think you can get more Welsh than that name. Uh, Because I know quite a lot about my mother's side and I've got ancestry results from my mother's side going back many generations. Again, if you were completely fresh and you were using these tests to understand your ancestry then you'd get slightly different stories you'd be able to piece together slightly different stories depending on these different dna databases again these results are only as accurate as the dna databases are detailed so that's interesting but let's look at my heritage so when the my heritage dna results came back i found this quite fun and i played this several times so i'm going to play this to you they've got a little intro that comes directly from their email So there we go. That's my heritage DNA. It gives me a, a, a strange result in a way that it picks up some areas of Europe that the other tests didn't do. For example, it homed in on Eastern Europe, which none of the other tests have. And as far as I know, I have no links whatsoever with Eastern Europe. Northwest Europe, yes, because I'm British, so these tests do tend to pick up kind of French and German links simply because of being British. And also a little bit from Scandinavia because the Vikings invaded Britain many, many, many years back. But if I was using my heritage completely blind to my genetic ancestry, then it's not picked up any British whatsoever. I would not be British, you know, if I was just relying on this result and I didn't know anything about my genetic ancestry. It would be, I think, quite misleading. The fact that it's picked up Italy and then surrounding areas 
makes sense because of Sicily, as I said, being in the Mediterranean and, and having many influences from West Asia and North Africa. If I look at the full ancestry estimates, it appears to be very detailed, giving me 87.6% from Europe, from both my parents, 43 from North and West Europe, which would be my mum, and then 37% and East Europe. Maybe that would be partly my mum as well. Southern Europe, specifically Italy. And then it gives me 7% from Africa, 4.1% from the Middle East, and then another 1.3% from more broad Asian. I guess where it gives Spain and uh, Northwest Europe, it does cover the United Kingdom, it does cover Britain. I kind of wonder whether the database at the moment, my heritage, isn't quite as detailed as the rest, so it throws up slightly misleading figures. Um, living DNA, as I said, did that originally until it updated, and then it, it became more accurate based on what I know about my genetic ancestry. Um, if I had to compare all four services, then they're kind of all comparable with the length of time it gets it takes to come back from the lab, um, the ease at which you can do the tests. They're all comparable. But if you were looking for a service that gave you the most accurate results, I'm wondering whether 23andMe would win. I'm not sure. Again, it depends on what you know as to how well you can piece together your genetic story based on these results. If I had to give someone some advice as to which service to use, I'd be slightly less likely to tell you to use my heritage than I would either 23andMe or Ancestry DNA. I think those two services have got the biggest databases and therefore potentially the most accurate databases. So yeah, there you go. Those are four different services with four different results, broadly comparable. I suppose Living DNA did pick up Eastern Europe looking at this, looking at this map. It gives it a South Germanic and it's only 1.8%. So guys, have you had a test from any one of these? Have you compared your own, comparing across different sites? I'd be interested in knowing that in the comments. Check out my genetics playlist if you're interested in the more detailed comparisons across any of these services. Not sponsored by any of these services, by the way. I bought all of these tests myself. Till tomorrow when normal service resumes on this channel. Bye, guys.